Hey guys, Samuel Boulanger from Power Platform Geek. In today's video, we'll look at how we can replace the out-of-the-box integration between Dynamics 365 and SharePoint using Power Automate. Uh, in today's video, I have two goals. The first one is to automatically create a folder in SharePoint when I create an account in Dynamics 365. If you didn't know, um, the creation of the folder in SharePoint using the out-of-the-box function is not created uh, at the creation of the account itself. You need to navigate to the document tab to trigger the integration. My second goal is to create subfolder uh, inside SharePoint that will be accessible from Dynamics 365. So I want to create a folder hierarchy. Uh, in the first part of the video, I'll go through the uh, out-of-the-box integration, so how it works, because I think it will help to build the Power uh, Automate afterward. And in the second part, we will uh, build the Power Automate itself. So let's take a look. Okay, so before starting creating our flow, let's look behind the scene how the integration between SharePoint and CRM works uh, from the CRM standpoint and from the SharePoint uh, standpoint. So the first thing that's important to understand is with the basic uh, integration function, when you create a new account, okay, so uh, for instance, Power Platform Test, and you save the account, nothing happened te uh, technically. So the integration will only be applied when you click on the document tab. What will happen when you click on this document tab? There's two things. The first one is a folder will be created in SharePoint and in CRM, um, a record will be created in a table called document location that I'll just show you in a bit. So right now I created this account and if you navigate to SharePoint and you look on my subfolder account on my, my site that is uh, synchronized with, with the CRM, you can see that nothing has happened. So there's, there's no, no folder called Power Platform uh, Geek Test that has been created inside SharePoint. And if you look in the table called Document Location, you can see that, that nothing has happened. Now, if I navigate to the document tab and I go back to my SharePoint site, you can see that now the folder has been created. And if I navigate into my document location tab, it's also been created. So the structure of SharePoint need to be replicate kind of inside this document location tab. So for, for each folder, you will need to create um, uh, a record in this tab. So if I open one, just show you, you can see that uh, for this document location, which is set regarding my Power Platform Geek Test account, I now have the relative URL, which is the, um, the name of the folder itself in SharePoint. And I have my parent site. And in my parent site, if I open it, you can see that now I have as a relative URL, I have the account folder. Again, that's the name of the folder inside of SharePoint, okay? So we really need to replicate the entire path from SharePoint inside this document location table. Now, what I want to overcome uh, as a limitation uh, using a flow, actually there's two things. The first one is, I want the folder in SharePoint to be created at the moment where I create the account. The second thing is I want to create subfolders, okay? I have a hierarchy of folders that I want to create each time an account is created inside the CRM. So if I quickly turn on my flow that I already made and that I navigate back into the system to create a new account, Okay, so my, my flow just finished running. And if I navigate back there, you can see that it's been created right away. So I didn't have to navigate to the document tab. And I have subfolder one and subfolder two. Okay, you can add whatever folder you want. You can go multiple uh, depth inside the subfolders if you want to. It's a little more complex, but uh, for the, this video today, we'll just create subfolders in the, into the main um, table which, which the, the, the integration is activated. So now let's go creating our flow. 
So for this flow, our trigger will be from the common data service when a row is added, modify or deleted. For this example, I'll use the account tab. So when an account is created, I'll put the organization as the scope. First thing I want to do is I want to create a new folder in SharePoint. So for my action, I'll just look for SharePoint. create a new folder and we want to create a folder inside our um, existing folder called account okay so to replicate kind of the, the behavior uh, of the out-of-the-box integration so if you click on the site address you will have a list of your different sites if you just created the sites has happened to me that the site uh, wasn't appearing in this list so what i did is just enter custom value copy paste the address of the site okay so in that case will be this one um, maybe you'll get an error message but if you continue to the next step list or library as you can see same if i, I get this error message i'm able to choose from uh, the different uh, document um, that, I, 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 that I have right now in this specific site. So let's choose account. And then the folder path uh, is the name of the folder itself. So the name you wanna give to the folder that we will create. In that case, I will give the account name. If you want to replicate the, the behavior of the out of the box, integration you want to add a new unique number after your account name it's feasible you can do it using flow or you can create a no to numbering field inside power apps and then add it um, after the name of the the, the, the folder path itself okay so now we've created our main folder okay so just create the account folder now we will create our subfolder let me get to SharePoint again. Create new folder. Site address. Again, it's an account. But now in the path, we will add the parent folder. Okay. So it will not recreate it. It will just understand that you need to create the new folder inside this uh, parent folder so the parent folder name is the account name so i will just choose again account name so we'll drop it inside this folder we've just created in the prior step then um, i'll just add a slash and the name of my folder so in that case i'll just put it manually and then let's create a second folder just renamed this one before account sub folder one okay now our next action SharePoint create a new folder again we select the site address the list and the folder path with sub folder two and just whoops just rename it account subfolder2 okay so now what we just did when a new account is created the main folder is created inside the uh, document account uh, that reside on my my um, SharePoint site Power, Power Platform Geek CRM and then I create one subfolder inside this main folder and then a second folder inside this main folder now we want to create the records inside the document location table in crm now we will need to get the parent document location inside crm so as i just show you um, with the evidence fine we have the path in SharePoint replicated inside the document location tab. So now you have the parent site there account. So all of those have 
the account tab as a parent site. So we will need to get the ID of this specific record in order to attach it to our newly document created uh, document location. To do so, we will need the GUID, okay? that you can find the URL there at the top. So you have the GUID of this document location record, which is account, okay? So just make sure you, you select the right one. So if you're, you're creating a flow for opportunities or quote or uh, any other tables in, into the system, just make sure that your relative URL is the right one corresponding to the folder uh, or to the path into SharePoint, okay? So once you have it, you can look after this uh, ID equal and that's where you, you'll find the GUID, okay? So we'll just copy this value and then we'll navigate back uh, into our flow and we will get information about this specific record. So get a row by ID. Okay, so document location, whoops. And we'll just pass the ID we just copied from the CRM, okay? So now we're getting the document, parent document location. Then we will create the subfolder that we will link to this parent document location. Okay, so we will again create a new record. So add a new row inside the table called document location. Well, you can give it whatever name you want, uh, but I suggest that you use the, the same one as the folder in SharePoint. But that's not really important. That's the relative URL that must be uh, the same thing as in SharePoint. So if you look at there at parent site, that's where we will build our hierarchy here with the, the parent and we will look for the OData ID there where we, in our step where we get the parent document location uh, info, we will just put it there in parent site or location. And finally, we will put the relative URL. So that's how uh, CRM will understand the, the, the path of what is built inside of SharePoint. So again, I'll use account name and our last step, let me rename this one. Our last step will be to link or relate this row, so this document location, with the record itself, so the account which we just created. So again, I'll take an action in the common data service and I'll look for relate rows. I'll choose account. The row ID is the account from my, my trigger actually. Okay, so um, account. this one, the unique identifier of the account. Then I will need to select the relationship, okay? So it will show me all the relationship that exists in the system for the account table. Right now, what I'm looking for is uh, the relationship for document location, account SharePoint document location. So I'll select this one and I'll relate it with the row I just created uh, there, this one by using the OData ID again, there you go. So now it technically should work if I didn't make any mistake. So let's just test it. Let's create a new account. Uh, structure test two. Save it. There we go. So 
if I navigate back there and I go to document the subfolders has been created the SharePoint structure itself have already been created so I have access to my different subfolder and if I navigate back there oops account SharePoint structure test 2 so that's it so now you're able to improve the native integration between Dynamics 365 and SharePoint and to automatically create a folder structure inside of SharePoint and Dynamics 365. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for future how-to or tutorial, don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed this video and want to be notified of new releases, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Special thanks to XRM Vision who supported me in producing this video. If you want to see more Power Platform content, I also encourage you to follow their channel. See you in the next video.